in a little bit. When it's stiffer, it's easier. Also, we're going to put a neck on this rabbit. That's how we complete the back of its head, was, is actually to put a neck on it. And usually, you'll find that depending on how much depth the head of your creature has, uh, obviously like a, a goat's even longer, um, a horse is really long, you might have to add a coil back here. So I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate how I would do that because uh, it's a good chance you're going to need to do that at some point. It's easier if you let this little head get a bit stiff before you add this coil so that you're, you're using a softer clay in your coil than the head itself is. That's just a big fat tapered coil. And because this is so soft, I don't really even need to add water. But you'll see how this, by doing this, I'm extending the back, the top back of his head. Just spend some time integrating that coil. So you can already see that, you can already see it, you know, the rabbit in there. So now I'm going to switch to one that I started uh, earlier so that we can continue because this is clearly too soft to continue at the moment. This piece has already had the, um, the back coil put on and it also has been stiffened up. So it's, it's nice and leather hard, able to be added to without warping it too much. So I'm just starting with a piece of clay that is roughly a quarter of a pound to, to create the neck from. So I'm just making a solid lug here. It's like Tootsie Roll shape, cylinder shape. Um, I'm going to have a series of dowels, a series of sizes of dowels. So you can start with the smallest one, insert it through the middle of your cylinder and start rolling it. You're holding on to the dowel, not pot. If you hold on to the pot, nothing's going to happen. But if you press down gently with the dowel, you start to hollow out the cylinder. And you might say, why not just, you know, roll a slab and bring it up into a cylinder? That's just another way to do it. There's plenty of ways to get it, pretty much anything in ceramics. So you just do it until you have a, a width that seems like it's going to be a good neck or even more so, you know, you also want that, you don't want this um, piece of clay to be, you know, the cylinder to be too thick. So this is going to be a, a very fat neck for a little guy like this, but we'll cut it, we'll do some alterations to it. So the first thing we're going to do is take the knife. This is a Dolan 220C knife, which is um, a really lovely knife to use for hand building, or for ceramics in general. And I'm going to cut a U shape out of this cylinder. First I mark it to make sure that it's pretty symmetrical. And without even flaring it out, I'm just going to hold it up and see if I'm close. And yeah, it's going to be fine. It's going to work out fine. So all I want to do is just do a slight turnout of the connecting point. Maybe I'll even put his head a little, you know, cock his head a little bit to the side. So here, here's your cylinder, and if I wanted it to be facing straight on, it'd be like that, but this is my chance. This is, this is the time to... Maybe he's also looking up, come to think of it, because he's on the ground. He's so small, and the gods are larger, so I can put him like that. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the slab, I mean mark the head, rather. I also want to put a key in there somewhere because it gets real confusing. And so now all I have to do is, this is leather hard, so I definitely want to give it the ability to connect to that really soft neck by scratching it up. And then take off any excess that you don't need. 
add a little bit of water to the head end of the connection. And you have that line drawn on both, that's your key to know which way this is going to go. And then I'm just tacking it in place. Using the softness of the neck against the hardness of the head, it allows me to do this without having to actually get my hand inside. For a piece that's as small as this, it will be possible for me to mostly get my hand in. But when you start getting ambitious and making larger pieces, you might not be able to get your hand in. So the stiffness of the two clays is, the relative stiffness is really important. And then you just feather it in. Now, because I can get my hand in there, I'm going to reinforce the connection. But before I do that, I just want to show you, you know, this is the orientation that we've got, we've got a good um, hair looking up, cocking his head. And 